Hey guys, welcome to the Sim Racing Paddock. I'm William Marsh, and we are talking about Formula One, namely the but ugly Halo that is coming to the cars this season. In previous videos and live streams, I've voiced my displeasure with using the Halo in a racing simulator. And that is largely because you have one focal point in a monitor setup, which means it's like driving with one eye open and you have no peripheral vision and depth perception. And that means anything, windshield wipers, raindrops, cracks in a windshield, etc., a halo, that will block your vision. In virtual reality, I had a theory that this would be less intrusive. And I am proud to say that in that case, it is totally true. I can see a lot better in this car, even though the halo is dead in front of me. And that is because virtual reality has two focal points. It simulates having two eyes. It renders one display for each eye and each is slightly offset. For me, my eyes are offset by about 66 millimeters. So that is simulated in a Seto Corsa. And that means that I can sort of see through this halo ring and here's one way to picture it imagine you hold up your hand right in front of your face you are able to see past your hand it's going to look like your hand is somewhat transparent that is what is exactly going on with this halo if i focus on the halo if i focus my eyes on the halo it does block my vision but if i focus on objects past the halo the track, the trees, the turn ahead, then I can actually sort of see through it. It almost looks like there is a transparency filter on it, which is kind of similar to what Jimmy Broadbent said in his video. And that is a very fitting, astute observation. Another way to look at it is, or A, no pun intended there, but B, think about your nose. Your nose is always there. If you close one eye and look on the inside corner, you are definitely going to see your nose. But when you have two eyes open, your brain sort of is tricked into thinking the nose isn't really there. You're able to sort of see past your nose. And that similar concept is being used with this halo. I'm not going to say it's perfect. I'm not going to say I'm a fan of it. I'm still not a fan of the halo. I would have really rather see a canopy in the cars, but with this, I think it is going to be at the very least tolerable. It's not going to be pleasant, but it's going to be tolerable, and I think that's okay. I'm still not a fan of it being used in sim racing though, because the issue is most people are not using virtual reality, and that is going to be an issue. I'm not, I don't see Codemasters F1 2018 going to be really popular because of the way the Halo is represented. I would definitely not be surprised if F1 2018 is the first F1 game to incorporate virtual reality because virtual reality you can see through the Halo and I think that could be something that could be marketed. But for a single monitor, even for triple monitors, it is going to be a very unpleasant experience seeing through or not being able to see through this halo. But for virtual reality, it is tolerable. Now, if you want to test this out for yourself, I'm going to provide a link below in the description. Take note though, this will overwrite the car body model for the Scuderia Ferrari SF70H which means that would most likely cause mismatches online. There are the backup files in the zip for this download though. So there is a download for the backups. And once you're done with this Halo, you can just drag and drop the backup files and they will revert this car back to the way Kunos intended it. But for now, this is an interesting experience. It's kind of fun. It's sort of revealing to see how remarkable it is the way our eyes work, but bottom line, I'm still not a fan of the Halo. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Are you 
interested in the Halo, or do you want to see it crash and burn? Let us know that in the comments. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and help keep us on track. For the Sim Racing Paddock, I'm William Marsh, and you have a great rest of your day.